Hi friends, welcome to imind.xl training. Let us see what is our this week's weekly challenge. So you can see the heading is very clearly written lookups with multiple criteria. So you can see that I have a drop down over here wherein I can select the three months January, February or March which the computer is picking up from here. And also over here you can see that I get a drop down to select the company names which the computer is picking up from here. Now for this particular month, for this particular company, what is the corresponding sales that should be displayed over here. Example, the company TCS for the month of January the sale is 48580 that should come over here or let us take another company and another month so you can see for the month of February for Infosys whatever is the corresponding sales in this case it is 51737 that should be displayed over here so let me show you two ways of how you can achieve this week's weekly challenge. But before that, I would urge you to pause the video and try to resolve this challenge on your own. Then you can come back and check whether your result is matching with mine. Well, now that you are back, let me show you two ways of how you can look up for these values. So the first technique is using the XLOOKUP technique. So I will type equal to XLOOKUP open bracket. Now the computer is asking me what is the first lookup value. So in my case the first lookup value is the month. Then I select comma. Then it is asking me where do you want to look up for that value. So I'll say that look up for that value over here, comma. Now it is asking me what value to return. So over here I'll use another X lookup function. And in that I will say it's asking me for the lookup value. So I will select the company name that is the neighboring cell, comma. Where to look up for that value over here, comma. And where is the return array? In this case, we'll select this entire data because our result could be found in any of this. Now I'll close the bracket for the inner X lookup, close bracket for outer X lookup and hit enter. So let us check whether we got the correct value. February for the month of Infosys, I'll change the color. So you can see it is 21. 315. Let's change the month to March and let's change the company name to Wipro. So March Wipro, it is 76062 and that's exactly what we have got over here. Now let me show you another technique of doing the same and this you can do it using the index and the match function. So we'll first type the command equal to index open bracket. Now it is asking me what is the array where you want to get the result from. So our array is this entire data. Then I give a comma. Now it is asking me for which row number. So I will select match and I will give open bracket look up for what value this value comma where you want to look up for that value so i want to look up for that value okay in this case you can see it is asking you first for the row value so in this match when it asks me for the lookup value i will specify the neighboring cell that is C5, then I will give a comma and where to look up for that value over here, 
okay comma and i want the exact match so i say zero and i close bracket so this gives me the row number then i give comma and then i give match now it is asking me what is the lookup value i'll say match comma where to look up for that i'll say over here comma i'll say zero for the exact match this will return the correct column number i'll close the bracket for the match close the bracket for index hit enter and you get the result let us check for the month of january for tcs you can see it is 54542 and that's exactly what we got over here let's change the company name to hcl and it is 78947 that's exactly what we have got over here so friends in this tutorial we have studied two ways of searching with multiple criteria hope you have learned something new if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you again in the next video till that time goodbye